I'm Noah Weisberg, co-founder and CEO of Zuva. Prior to this, I was co-founder and CEO of Cura Systems. I'm joined today by... Hi, I'm Risa Jacob. I am the uh, Senior Manager of Legal Knowledge Engineering at Zuva. Um, prior to that, I was on the Legal Knowledge Engineering team at Cura, uh, and we are the team that builds the built-in smart fields uh, that Zuva comes with. Um, so today we are launching the AI Trainer uh, from Zuva. And AI Trainer is a user interface that allows users to teach Zuva to find new information. Um, and while Zuva is basically an API product and there are training APIs that you can build into your own system, we know there are a bunch of users who find it really useful to have a user interface to train with. Uh, I myself have a lot of experience uh, training models. In the early days of Kira, I spent for the first sort of two years of the company, I spent probably 80% of my time training models. And with Kira back then in sort of circa 2011, 2012, 2013, um, it, just as with most other AI technologies today, it, it was something where I needed to have my work intermediated by a developer. Uh, in my case, my co-founder, Dr. Alexander Hudak, who was a PhD in computer science. So I would read through contracts. I would pick out relevant parts like the assignment clause or the renewal clause. I'd put them into a Word document. And he would then take those examples and throw them into the algorithms he was building. And that would spit out a model. Uh, pretty shortly into that way of doing things, we got a little bit more sophisticated and we started marking up XML documents so that we'd preserve a little bit more information, super painful, super slow. And I would still have to wait every time I got through a batch of documents until Alex had time to sort of put it through the whole chain of things that we would do to build a model. And it would then spit out a model and I'd supervise that. Um, in 2014, we launched something called Quick Study that enabled people to build their own models. And you can think of AI Trainer as a another step along that journey of just putting the ability to train in the hands of users. We think uh, AI Trainer is significant for three reasons. First of all, it shows that we at Zuva are making fast product progress, like getting this done in the amount of time that we got it done and out and released to the world is non-trivial in my experience. Second thing is AI Trainer puts the power to train models in the hands of subject matter experts like Risa. Risa's background, uh, were you a programmer before you got into legal knowledge engineering, Risa? Definitely not. <laughs> no, I was like uh, uh, a leading Toronto law firm. And, uh, and we found that profile of having a subject matter expert and being able to have them teach the software directly makes such a big difference. Working by myself in the old way, I was able to build sort of 28 models over a few years. Uh, in <laughs> working after uh, me using the sort of third generation of having an interface, our team built more than 1,200 data points and our customers built more than 20,000. So it, it really makes such a big difference to be able to use the software directly. You can just uh, get better models in less time and anybody who's training any other way uh, really is just wasting your team's time. Like you could do this quicker and uh, you're not if you're not using a training interface. So I think that's the second big thing. And the third big thing about our particular uh, AI trainer is that you can annotate a wide variety of stuff, not just like words or entities, but also sentences, paragraphs, and coming soon, entire documents. So with all this uh, lead in hype, Risa will show it to you. Yeah, so this is Zuba's AI trainer. Um, so it's, it's very easy to use. Basically, the first step is uploading documents. Um, so in the interest of time, we have uploaded a bunch already. Uh, we can see that it is the documents are categorized by contract or non-contract, and then as a second level as well. Um, so to annotate the documents, you simply go into the document. Um, and we are going to um, build an automatic renewal um, field. This is something we do have built in, but it's just something a lot of people are familiar with. So it's, it's good for, for this purpose. Um, so you simply locate the language in the document. 
Um, you simply highlight the language. Um, and then we're gonna search for the clause. Um, and we simply add it to, to the automatic renewal clause. And you basically just continue this process. Um, so we're gonna go through and find another one. Um, the term shall automatically renew, that's right here. Um, and you just search for our field again, automatic renewal, and it gets added to the field. So once you have about, um, 10, 20 examples, um, the system will start learning and will start generating suggestions. So we're gonna apply um, the field that we've built onto a bunch of these documents and we're gonna see how it will start um, generating some suggestions. And one great thing about the system auto-generating suggestions is it really accelerates what a reviewer can do. Instead of just, looking through with a search for the word renewal, um, a reviewer is able to go a lot quicker because they're getting the suggestions of what the system's providing to them. And it also enables a reviewer to refine what the system's finding. It can, a reviewer can reject uh, a suggestion as well. And that teaches the model too. So overall, this kind of online learning type of approach, uh, we think is just a, a really helpful bit in accelerating the reviewer experience. Yeah, and the great thing as well is that um, the system automatically trains at ever, after 10 documents have been added to the learning. So there isn't any need to prompt any training to occur. It, it's just automatically happens um, in the background, which is really convenient. Um, so one other thing that's kind of neat about uh, AI Trainer and really all Zufa products is that while we're showing you this today, uh, we have a belief that our users should just be able to try the stuff out for themselves and figure out if Zufa is right for them, if some other tool is right for them, if building themselves is right for them. And so we're pretty transparent. Our pricing is up on our website, uh, number one, but number two, instead of just looking at Risa and Noah demo this software, you can try it out for yourself. Uh, if you just go to zuva.ai, there are free trials available. Uh, obviously there's some like license restrictions and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, the X lawyer in me can't help but mention that, but you can just try it out yourself. Uh, Risa, we got suggestions up now. Yeah, so this is um, language that Zuva has found. We can see it's a Zuva suggestion. And if I look at the language, um, it does capture the automatic renewal language. So I simply can include this suggestion. Um, if, it, if I wasn't happy with it, I could edit the parameters as well. If it was completely you know, not what I was looking for, I could also remove it. Um, and you would just continue this process going through all of, all of the automatically generated suggestions. Um, and adding in any that are relevant. Um, the last step that we'll cover is um, publishing the field to DocAI. Um, so to do that, we simply go to field publishing, um, you locate your field and you can simply um, click on this button and it will publish to our Zupa DocAI product. So Simply put, it's it's a really easy to use system. Uh, my experience is that it's very snappy. Like I love how fast the UI is. And our team has taken a whole lot of experience in doing annotation and in different settings, uh, including contracts, but not limited to that, and applied it to this. And I think it's a really nice tool. And if you are in the business of teaching AIs to find new information, you really owe it to yourself to just give it a run and see how it is. Uh, I think it's super fast and easy and a very nice tool. And we hope you do too. Please let us know how you find it. Thanks so much for your time watching us today.